even to our child oh, here, okay. raised in a Christian home. And that's a great blessing. That's a, that's a great blessing. And so when we have individuals who are sitting there outside, we're prepared to dedicate, we are prepared to dedicate our child to God and make sure that from the very get go, they have Christ as their solid block. What a blessing. If you can. So, I'm just the phone right now. Unless you want to just leave it right here, I guess. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, Can you hear me up there? This okay? She's falling asleep. Isn't she a cutie? Yeah, come to ground. When a child, when a child at a young age is given to a Christian home, it is a child on loan. Do we understand that? Children do not belong to us. They belong, they belong to God. And we have to give an answer for how we raise them in the fear and admonition of God. Uh, Michael and Shannon have done just a great job already. And they've been faithful, not just in coming to the house of God, but their devotions and such. But now I ask them publicly, would you be for all the witnesses, your family who are gathered here, and, and all the, those who are gathered up in the balcony and on the main floor, would you affirm before them that you will raise this beautiful little gift, Hannah Lynn, in the fear and admonition of God? Yes. Will you have a family altar with her and teach her the ways of God at your home? Yes. And would you, as, as long as you live and have any authority over her life, raise her within the bonds of a congregation like this one? If you're not uh, in this area, at some point in time, you find a church, you raise her in the community of believers. Would you affirm that? Yes. Would all of you affirm that you will help this family to keep their vows before God by praying for Hannah Lynn, by uh, lifting her up before the Lord, by assisting the parents if they ever need that kind of assistance, and by viewing this as something that we all do together, the raising of our children. If so, would you say we do? We, we do. do. Would all of you be willing to stand, please, and stretch your hands out toward this family? Elders and deacons, ministers, please come around and lay hands on Michael and uh, Shannon, if you would. Family members, you can join in this prayer. We're going to lift up this little bundle of joy and pray divine blessings upon her and her father and her mother. God, I thank you for little Hannah Lynn. Holding her in my arms, I can tell how precious she is. And I sense that you have a great task in store for her. I don't know what it is, we don't know, but I sense there's a great destiny for this child. And I pray, oh God, that you would minister to her. First through her parents, through Michael and through Shannon, and then through the family, the nuclear family that's gathered around them. And then the spiritual family is represented by the pastors and the elders and the deacons and those with hands outstretched toward this little bundle of joy. Would you bless them? Oh God, help them to keep these vows they've made. These are serious vows. This is not something that we just do so the family can take photographs. This is something we do, oh God, as a rite of the church to make sure that we are raising a new generation of strong believers. So I pray, oh God, that you would be with mom and dad, that you would be with this child, that you would be with any other children that may result from their union, and that you would be with everybody else who is here today who has a family, that they may reaffirm their vow to you to raise their children, however old they may be, also in the fear and admonition of God. 
These things we pray in the mighty name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And all of God's people say, Amen. Thank you. Can we give them a hand, please? <laughs>